New York City Mayor Bill de Blasio is proposing a new housing plan that aims at relieving the affordable housing crisis across the five boroughs. The de Blasio administration wants to provide low interest loans to help homeowners pay for construction to bring basement spaces up to standards of the city's safety and zoning code. There are an estimated 114,000 basement apartments in New York City. Ruvain Blau is a reporter with the city and is with me now to explain this new proposal. So I guess the biggest question is, what are some of the high points of this plan and how exactly does the mayor see it being rolled out? Well, there's uh, several components. One includes uh, actually giving loans to uh, homeowners who want to actually make these changes. And there's a $150 million pot that he wants to set aside in the budget for capital funding for homeowners who want to make these changes and are looking for help in construction costs. That's one element. Another element is actually changing the zoning laws, which uh, restrict the number of housing uh, developments regarding uh, parking units uh, outside the house. Uh, so they want to change that, ease that, to allow more dwellings and uh, ease the parking restrictions that currently exist. So someone could convert a garage into an apartment and then where would they put their car? They would put it on the street because now those parking restrictions have been eased. Exactly. I mean, also, I mean, it's also just there's restrictions regarding how many parking spots have to exist when you add a dwelling into a house. And so they want to ease that as that's kind of the essential. Talk change. to me about basement apartments, because right now, are you allowed to have in a basement, a basement apartment or would this be a totally new thing? What would be the protocol in order to make it safe? So you're currently allowed to have them, but there's, you know, there's specific restrictions regarding the roof, the, the ceiling, uh, the height, height and uh, also uh, you have to have two exits and um, sprinkler systems. So the majority of basement apartments that exist currently just don't have that and um, they're operating illegally, but it's New York City and the, rake, the vacancy rate is, is super, super low and people are you know, living where they can and it's, it's just been going on forever in, this, in the city. What has been the pushback from homeowners? So homeowners are uh, reluctant. They've, there's a pilot program that was launched a couple years ago in East New York, and it's been really kind of slow to get off the ground. Uh, and what they've seen is that homeowners who currently have basement apartments and are renting them have been reluctant to sort of join the program and kind of get up to code uh, for multiple reasons. One is they have the, the it's difficult to sort of relocate the tenants, although the, the pilot program included a, a clause to allow them to uh, put them somewhere else while the construction is going on. But they're also worried that they're going to lose their rent, and they're also just worried about engaging with the city uh, because currently what they're doing is illegal, and they're concerned that they're going to get hit with fines. Okay, so this is concerns of tenants, you're saying? It's concerns of tenants, and it's also concerns mostly of the homeowners to kind of get up to code because they're concerned. They're, they don't know how much also it will cost for them to get up to code, and they also are just worried about engaging the city because they're currently sort of violating the law as well. Okay, so would there be... When, when you're saying people might get kicked out because now they have to pay more perhaps because now it's an official apartment, it's no longer something that's being done under the table. Is there a concern that this would be uh, displacing extremely low income people here in New York? Yeah, yeah, I mean the concern more is that in order to get up to code, they're gonna have to do construction. And while that happens, those people will be displaced. The concern isn't so much the cost related to the apartments, they're generally r uh, relatively low, yeah, affordable units. Uh, so the concern is where are these people going to go while the construction is being done? And absolutely, I mean, it's a, you know they they chose a, a neighborhood in, in East New York, and people are concerned that you know that was a bad area to, to choose for a pilot program uh, for multiple reasons, including that you know that it was difficult to relocate people there. Now the mayor has actually announced they want to do this citywide, so uh, it's going to take on a much bigger sort of uh, plan. All right, Ravine Blau, thank you so much. Thanks for having me.